hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a new field to sale a dot report model so if i go to the sales application and then to the reporting menu and here we have a menu called sales and here we will be getting a model called sale dot report and we have we are getting a graph view as well as a pivot view so our intention is to add a new field to this model that is the model is sale dot report so you may be thinking it's easy right just we need to inherit and add the field to that model it's easy but there is a difference so actually if we check the code level for this model sale dot report it's not a normal model but it's a database view which has been created using query so if i go to the pycharm and here we have the uru 15 source code so this is my uru 15 source code and this is uru and let me go to the sales module so i'll scroll down and i'll navigate to uru sales module so here we have the sales application and i'll go to the report folder and here you can see we have got a file called sale dot report py sale underscore report py where this database model or database view has been defined you can see name is sale dot report and here you can see it's sale dot report and as normal the fields are defined here but you can see an auto equal to false that means the data will be taken from the query we will be initializing the database table so here after defining the fields you will see some queries so here you have a select statement and you have a from group by and finally you will have an init query that is this init function will be getting executed and it will create a view in the database with sale underscore report so that's what we are currently seeing here so our intention is to add a new field to this model so let's see how we can achieve that in uru 15 so if i go back to pycharm and if you try to understand how this model has been created so first of all all the fields will be initialized and from this diff init so this from diff init you can see self dot env cr dot execute create or replace view from here you can see it will call what self dot query so from here you can see select state this select statement has been called so this is actually written like this because you may think we can directly write all the queries inside here but actually it's splitted and created as separate functions for making easy to inherit so if you are writing all the queries inside a single this statement it will be hard to inherit so if we need to inherit later we have to rewrite all the function so to make it easier for inheriting in custom modules Uru has written as follows like splitting into small small function so there is a function for select sale so if i need to add one more field to select i just need to override or i just need to super this function and add the field so if you are writing in a single all the together it will be hard to inherit so just keep that in mind so if you read this query you can see we have some select like s dot date order and p dot product template id and what is s what is p that you will understand from this query sale order line l right outer join so just they are preparing the query so s will be representing sale order sale order line will be represented by l product will be p and product template by t so that's i hope you get a basic understanding now what i'll do i'll go to our custom add-ons and let's inherit this model so i'll go to the custom add-ons folder and i will add the coding inside om odoo inheritance module so what i'll do is that inside models folder i'll add a new file so let me copy the existing file sale order py and i will add it as sale report py sale report dot py and i have to import it inside the init file so I'll go to the init file and import from dot import 
deal report so that's done so it has been imported now what i have to do i have to adjust the code inside this file that is sale report py so i'll change the class name to sale report and inherit sale report so i have successfully inherited this model sale report and you can see i have added a field this is actually copied from confirm the user id so recently uh, while showing how to inherit and add a field we have illustrated by adding a new field to the sales module so if you open quotation you can see you have got a field called confirmed user id which is a custom field we have added and our intention is to bring this confirmed user field to this model so actually all this data to the sales analysis is coming from sale order line and some from sale order and from the product so we just need to bring this confirmed user field value to this model sale dot report so currently if you check you can see you don't have confirmed user id here add custom group you will not see confirmed user field here so we just need to get confirmed user field to this model so i have just added the same field confirmed user id here confirmed user id we need to one and i'll add it as read only true read only equal to true i just put it like this because if you check the odoo source code you can see for all the fields read only true is set by odoo so I'll follow the same pattern by setting read only equal to true. So I have just added the field and imported in the sale report that is in the init file. Now let's restart the service and let's upgrade the OM Odo inheritance module and see what happens. So I'll go to apps menu, apps menu and I'll upgrade OM Odo inheritance module. So you can see the module is getting upgraded without any issues so let me go back to sales reporting sales and i'll switch to pivot view and here we have there is no errors yet but if you go to add custom group our field is not listed here custom group and you can see confirmed user id has been successfully added into the view but if you select that and apply you will be getting error you can see column sale report confirmed user id does not exist it says the field does not exist upon grouping by that field because currently system doesn't know from where or how to get value for this field so what i have to do is that so what we have to do is that we have to inherit this query and we have to tell from where the value has to be taken so before doing that i'll show you an existing good sample inside odoo source code so this is odoo source code and if you go to add-ons and we have a module called sale underscore margin in odoo so if you scroll down you will see a module with technical name sale margin and in the report sale report you can see the model has been already inherited by odoo and they have added a field so you can just see how they have done they have inherited diff query and passed the field so simply i'll copy this sample which we have inside odoo i'll copy that and i'll put it here and what i have to do i have to pass value to confirmed user id field fields of confirmed user id and let me remove this query so from where we have to get this value s yes, dot confirmed user id so in inside this query s will be representing sale order you can see right outer join sale order s yes. so i can get confirmed user id by s dot confirmed user id so we have added that so let's restart and you have to upgrade the module so what i'll do is that i'll navigate to apps menu and i'll upgrade om odoo inheritance module once again so the module has been upgraded now i'll come back to sales reporting sales switch to pure view and i'll try to add custom group by confirmed user id click on apply and there is no error initially we are getting error but after adding this code we are not getting error 
so if we check here once we group by confirm the user id we are getting the data as follows now let's confirm whether it is correct or not the data we are getting here is correct or not so for that i'll go to quotations here we have all the quotations and sale orders now here i will group by confirmed user apply and here you can see for joel wills this confirmed user the total is 1186.50 Joel Wills 1186.50 that's correct and for Mitchell admin 4690 Mitchell admin 4690 that's right for Odu bot it's 25 Odu bot 25 and you can see for undefined that doesn't make sense so that's how we have to add a new field to sale dot report model so just inherit the model and you have to we cannot say always it's like this you have to see how the query is written and according to the query you have to understand so here we already have got a good sample inside all the source code so it was easy else we have to see how this is written and how we can inherit and add this field so similar approach can be followed for purchase dot report model also so wherever you have auto equal to false and init query you have to follow this method so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please to click the support please to support us by liking the video and have a comment under this video and if you feel the videos are helpful please feel to share with your Uru friends and in your social medias and also recently we have started a membership in the channel so feel free to take a membership and support us so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you